quinoa, amaranth and buckwheat. They're all gluten-free products that line supermarket shelves across the country. But here's one that's only now being discovered. It's called teff, and it's the main ingredient in a traditional Ethiopian dish. This is a teff flour. Okay. It's a laborious process. The mixture needs to ferment for 24 hours. The finished product is a flatbread called injera, a national dish for Ethiopians and Eritreans. That's the main food. Every dinner. 365 days. <laughs> Every night, Ms. Rak Tekle makes a fresh batch in her Melbourne restaurant. Although Ethiopians have been consuming this ancient grain for centuries, the recent discovery in the West of the nutritious benefits of teff means it's now making its way into kitchens around the country. Andrew Danawi runs a health food store in Melbourne's Inner West. He says there is strong demand for the iron-rich grain. When we first started, we'd be lucky to sell you know, five packets over two weeks and now we're selling sort of 10 to 20 packets per week. So there's definitely, the demand is growing, people are becoming more aware of it. Prominent celebrities are fans of the product, which is rich in calcium and protein. It also has benefits for those who are gluten intolerant. Teff is gluten free, um, which does make it a lot more appealing to certain groups of people. Um, in reality, only about 1% of the population has celiac disease, but there are more people these days, maybe 10 to 15% of the population that are avoiding things like wheat. More than 6 million farmers in Ethiopia grow teff, but exports of the raw grain have been banned since 2006. So expatriates here rely on other sources. For now, I'm getting from Indian store. Yeah. Indians, they start producing... Uh, yeah. So they import to Australia. Yeah. So that's what we get from. And now that Western consumers are getting a taste for teff, that export ban is being reassessed. But local grain could be on the market one day, with some Australian farmers trialling the crop. Sintila Chingayipe, SBS World News.